Paul became a Christian a few years after Jesus died and rose again. He joined the early church and traveled around sharing the gospel with others. Paul often wrote letters to churches when he was away from them. In his letter to the church at Colossae, Paul explained how people should live as followers of Jesus. As you receive Jesus Christ as Lord, continue to live in him, Paul wrote. Build your life on him. Be strong in your faith and always be thankful. Paul told the believers to be careful about who they listen to. Sometimes the words of the world sound good and right, but they are not based on God's truth. Jesus died to set us free from the ways of the world. Paul wrote, Think about godly things, not earthly things. When you trusted in Jesus, you died with him. Now you live in him. So turn away from the ways of the world. Put away anger, wrath, hatred, lies, and filthy language from your mouth. Do not lie to one another. You used to live this way, but Jesus has given you a new life. Paul said that God is making us more like Jesus. In this new life, no one is more important than anyone else. We all belong to Jesus. Paul wrote, you are God's chosen one, holy and dearly loved. Put on compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with one another and forgive one another because the Lord has forgiven you. Above all, put on love. Let the peace of Jesus rule your hearts and be thankful. Paul encouraged believers to remember Jesus' teachings and obey them, teaching and encouraging one another. Sing to God with thankfulness in your hearts, Paul wrote. Children, obey your parents because this pleases God. And whatever you do, do everything in the name of Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. God changes us when we trust in Jesus. He adopts us into his family and makes us new. Jesus calls us to turn away from our sinful ways and live in a way that honors him. All right, guys, all this month, we are learning about the first commandment, which tells us you shall have no other gods before me. So what I want you guys to do is I want you all to say the first commandment with me as loud as you can. Let's try and make it so that our parents can hear us down in the other wing, okay? All right, ready, set, let's go. You shall have no other gods before me. Commandment number one. So if you guys can remember this commandment, you can get a token for the candy store. So make sure that you keep practicing, okay? You shall have no other gods before me. Commandment one, Exodus 20, verse three. Whew. Hello everybody, welcome, welcome. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here with you. Oh, sorry. Um, hello? COVID regulations. <laughs> so. Can I help you? Yes, I'm here to I'm here to interview somebody and apparently it's you. It's your lucky day. Uh, uh, and your name no, is? I don't think so. I'm Philip, teaching. Um, the Ethiopian minister. No. <laughs> no. I'm definitely not Philip. No. No. And, okay. And I'm teaching. I'm oh, asking the kids a question. Oh, oh, turn around. I like yes. this. This is scandalous. There's a turn around. She's asking questions of me. I, I'm normally the one that asks the questions because that's what I do really well. Other than each yeah. one of them, I'm also very proficient at. Okay. So, um, you're asking me a question. Yes, I am. Oh, I like this. Oh, this is great. This is what it is, is what we're doing is we're turning the tables, so to speak, like this. I normally, I'm a very good question asker. You know what, the, you know what my teachers used to tell me when I was a kid? What? They'd say a variety of things, but one of them was always this. Your questions are so very sticky. Sticky? Yes. I'd ask questions and they'd be like, I can't get that out of my head. I've been trying to forget about your question for decades. Maybe it was you I, that I were trying can't. to forget about. I still can't forget the stickiness of it. So, go ahead. Okay. I'm ready to be the, the interview me? becomes the interview E. Right. Can you tell me what is commandment number one? Hmm. From the Ten Commandments, from the book of Exodus. Commandment number one. Mm. The kids have been learning it. If only I had a clue. 
something to help you out. Something a little bit like a cue card. I'm very good at reading cue cards. There's no cue card. You I just want to say to it's something along the lines of peanut butter and jelly, separate the knife, use two different ones. Something along those lines, because there's some people that are very allergic to things and they blow up like a bluefish. No, that's, no? that's not right. Maybe okay. we should ask Maybe the kids. Ask the kids, okay, I'll. I'm a very good question asker. I ask the questions. All right, here kids, here's one to stick in your craw. What is the first commandment? Just whisper to me so she doesn't hear you just whisper it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Put your hand down. I already asked. I know. Shh. Shh. And do you have an answer? Shh. Yes. What is the first commandment? I think the children tell me it's a little bit hard to hear. There's a little mumbling because kids, kids are mumblers. I don't know if you know that, but they mumble quite a bit. I ask them, I'm like, what is it? And they're like, mumble. Mm -hmm. I think what they said was, Dear God, it's the first one before you. That's not right. Oh, maybe it's even better. They said, the first God is the best God before anyone. I don't really understand Don't put that. one Why God before thinking? another God. What? Maybe that was what it would put. No, don't put other that's gods. not no. really it either. Our God can skip the line. I don't think that's what it is. That doesn't make sense. Kids, do you know what commandment number one is? Because obviously our guest host here doesn't know what the first commandment is. I'm actually but the host. I know You're you guys guest, do. But that's okay. We'll let it, we'll let it slide um, because I know you like to ask questions. I'm a teacher. And you came. Well, let me ask you a question. Either, Mr. S Captain Smarty Pants over here. What is the 12th commandment? There isn't a 12th commandment. Kids, is there a 12th commandment? This is a little awkward. Maybe we need to I tell our guests how many commandments there are. How many commandments Maybe are there? There's not a first commandment. Ever thought of that one? <laughs> there's definitely a first commandment. Oh, really? They're not just not odds and evens? No, no. <laughs> how many commandments are there, kids? Ten, that's right. Ten commandments. Oh! And wow. we're learning the first commandment. So that way, a circumvent, sort of you don't need to use your toes, just your fingers. Um, I guess. Except for in some hamlets in, you know, the southern parts of the United States. That's as long as you have all your fingers. Yes. I've seen one guy who was in a civil war and he lost a digit. What would he do? How would he, would there only be nine commandments for him? No, there's always ten for everybody, no matter how Even many if you're missing you a have. digit. Even if you're missing a digit. Wow! Still ten commandments. You know, that's a great question. You know, the thing is, is if I had a cue card, if I only had a cue card and someone's holding it up, because what I'm very good at is I've been in, I've been in television for quite a while. Okay. I'm a very proficient. I have a few of those little gold statues that they give to people who are saying like, you're very good at what you do. Let me give you a little spray painted gold guy. <laughs> well, it just so happens that we happen to have it right here. A what? A gold guy? No, your cue card. Oh, cue card. Wow, it's a little fuzzy. Behind you. It's a little fuzzy. I gotta, I gotta wear my spectacles. Okay. I'll give you a moment to get them settled. Wow, well, I, I can see that. Okay. All right. So we're learning commandment number one. All right. So I'll start, and then you repeat after me, okay? You. Mm -hmm. Me. No, no. You. Me. <laughs> you. You yes. say the word. Yes, you. it's me. Not me. Just you. You? Yes, you! Very Philip. good, very good. Okay. You shall... Philip shall... No, you. You said you. No, I said you say you. You said you? Yes, you say you. Because huh. you say what I say, and I said you, so you say you. Oh, I don't know you, so you say who? No, you say you. Who? You. You. <laughs> yes, you, very good. Oh. You Me shall... Me shall... Have... No... No... Other... Other... Gods... Should not be capital. Um, no. We're talking about other gods. Oh. Not the god. It's only capitalized when it's God. Do you think the other that's all mean to the other gods that they don't get a capital G? Um, no. No. Interesting. There's only one capital G God. Oh! You shall have no other capital G's before you. No. 
You should have no other lowercase g's. Oh! Before the capital G God. Before me. You. No, me. You. It says me. You. Can you read? You said to say you. You said you were good no. at reading cue cards. No, 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 no. You went back and I said me and you said, don't say me, you say you. And now you're, I'm saying me and you're saying you. Kids, I think he needs some help. Maybe you guys can help him out. I think she doesn't know how to use pronouns. I don't think that's true. Mm -hmm. I don't think you know how to read cue cards. Me know how to read cue cards. You don't. <laughs> See that? I was a little caveman.